Welcome to Admin Panel Guide for Learner Tracking Licenses. This guide will walk you through the basics of the Admin Panel, helping you make the most of your subscription to Clarity programs. Firstly, we will go through the simple two-step process to give your students access to your chosen programs. Next, we will cover usage and the results. We'll go through how to check your students' overall usage statistics as well as the progress of individual learners. We'll also look at creating accounts for other teachers or administrators. Let's get started. Once your account has been set up, you will be able to use your login credentials to access the admin panel. You'll find these details in your welcome email. Giving your learners access to your chosen programs is a simple two-step process. Step one is creating accounts for your learners. Step two is assigning your chosen programs to their accounts. If you want a student to have access to a Clarity program, the first step is to create a learner account for them. To do this, we click on the Users tab on the left. Click on Add Learner. Fill in their basic information, name, email address, and a password. Click Save, and that's it. We'll want to create groups to keep our users organized and assign access to programs. To do this, click Add Group. We'll name it. In this case, let's call it Class 1A. Now, let's move the learner we just created into this group. If you need to create a large number of accounts, it can be quite time-consuming to create them all one by one. It is much faster and easier to import them all from a spreadsheet. To do this, click on Import Users. In the window that appears, click to download the template and open it with Microsoft Excel or a similar program. In the template, you'll notice there are three column headings, name, email, and password. This is all the information needed to create a new learner account. Fill in the details for all your new users in columns A and B, and enter a unique password for each one in column C. Here's a tip. A quick way to generate the passwords is to use the RAND between function. In cell C2, enter equals RAND between for a four-digit password, we'll set the minimum value as 1,000 and the maximum value as 9,999. Hit Enter and drag the function down for all the new users. Once all the information is ready, export it as a CSV file. Click on File, Save a Copy, and change the file type to CSV. Save the file. Return to the Admin panel Click Upload Spreadsheet and select the CSV file we just created. Double check all the information is correct and click Save. Once you have your group of learners created, you select the programs to be assigned to the group. Select the relevant group of learners, in this case, Class 1A. The selected group will be highlighted in blue. Click Edit and simply select the programs to be assigned to this group. The students can now log in using the account details we made for them to start learning. Now that your learners can use the programs, we can check on overall program usage, as well as getting detailed reports on individual learners or groups. First, let's click on the Usage Statistics tab on the left. We are now looking at usage of active reading. We're able to see information on the subscription period and details, as well as license usage. In this case, we have used 10 of the 20 licenses purchased. We can download a report with more detail on the license allocation. Scroll down and we can see the session count, which shows the activity throughout the year. 
there's the option of viewing this as a line graph or bar chart. Finally, at the bottom, there's a breakdown of the levels in active reading. We can see absolute and proportional usage statistics for each of the six levels. These usage statistics provide a great overview of the value your school or institution is getting from the program. Now, let's get more detail on how particular students are doing. Click on the Progress Reports tab. Under Report Type, we can choose how in-depth we want the information to be. We can see the learner's activity either for the overall program, for specific levels within the program, units within the level, or specific exercises. Let's start with the broadest view, a program report. Select the relevant period. Choose the programs we want to focus on. In this case, we'll stick with active reading. Finally, we'll choose the group we want to focus on. Let's check on the group we created earlier, Class 1A. Click on Generate. For every learner in our chosen group, we can see time spent on the program, average score, and the number of exercises completed. This student seems to be struggling. They have a lower score in this unit than their peers. Perhaps we can check in with them and provide them with more support. With the same program and group selected, let's choose the unit report, which is more detailed. We can now see how each student is getting on with specific levels and units. Note that we can export all of the progress reports by clicking Download. This will download the report as a CSV file, which you can open with Microsoft Office Excel or Google Sheets. These are the basic functions of admin panel reporting. We have different options for viewing information. For example, by picking up only the first time a student completed an exercise or filtering out learners who have not made any attempts. In some cases, you'll need to give other teachers or administrators access to the admin panel. To do this, click on the Users tab. Now, instead of clicking on Add Learner, we'll click on the Teachers or Reporters group. Teachers and Reporters are the two types of administrators on the admin panel. Teacher accounts are similar to your administrator account. They are able to create learners and groups, assign programs, and view reports. Reporters are only able to view results. Choose whichever type fits in best with your needs. In this case, we'll create a teacher account. Click on Add Teacher. Fill in the basic details – name, email address, and a password. Select the groups that the teacher will be able to manage. In this case, we'll select All Groups. Click Save, and you're done. The new teacher will now be able to log in to the admin panel with their email address and the password you created. We hope that you found this walkthrough of the admin panel useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. You can either email your account manager or our support team at support at clarityenglish.com. Thank you.